owner San Leandro to aftershocks with a magnitude of 2.6 and 1.5 a few minutes later. According to the USGS, hundreds of people reported feeling the yeah, 3.0. RJ. I heard it coming, you know, Ow. zero of us, and then the you next thing I knew, it was six. Stop it! Well, you want it? Where's my fucking phone at? Oh, oh thanks, Rocco. Now I'm going to have to edit. All right, good news here. No reports of injuries or damage. Chris? <coughs> you edit. The city of Oakland already struggling with its unsafe reputation. Come on, man. Now lose hundreds of police officers. Lisa Chan spoke with people who are worried about the impact. I could be wrong, but a lot of the crime just seems to happen at night. Jerome McQuitta has called Oakland his home for four years. While he lives in a nice area, he says there are still problems. I, uh, you know, live in a lake area. Been pretty safe, but we've been breaking up. I was trying to do a picture of you know, some, kind of abuse, some, some people get robbed in the neighborhood. He's worried those problems are about to get a lot worse. Yeah. The city council is considering laying off the as many as 200 police officers because of a $31 million budget deficit. Cutting something that's a service to the community, something that's... Trip is so easy going. And, I mean, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of shocking <laughs> to even think about it. Um, you know, I, I want to feel safer in Oakland. Oh, well, you're going to get a Oakland picture of that. such a terrible reputation of crime and violence that it's just a shame. <laughs> you would, you would <laughs> she lost her balance. It's our fault. We're watching you. She definitely hurt us, and I, I mean, well, I, I'm very concerned. You don't like that. You don't put her on my head again. She lost her balance and started flapping. He didn't like that. He was licking her butt earlier. He was, he's a good mama kitty. Oh, dude. <laughs>